Hello guys, my name is Anas Kaleem and um, in this tutorial series I am gonna tell you about how to use Android Studio to make Android applications and uh, various mobile applications with various um, features. In this tutorial I am gonna tell you about how to make a calendar view expandable by clicking on uh, various views provided by Android Studio for the purposes of this tutorial I'm gonna using text view um, basically text view yes if you are aware of the calendar view then you have come across to, um, oops, for the most part you have come across with the situations that uh, the, the calendar view is uh, by default expanded what I will do in this tutorial is that make it collapse and expandable by clicking on the text view so let's get started I will start a new Android studio project and uh, simply name this project as calendar actually expendable calendar view click next and I will start with the default settings for this tutorial i will use empty activity because i don't need any of the factory methods main activity is fine click finish okay now android is uh, building the application the background tasks Okay, so Android has performed the background task and has created uh, activity and the layout XML file necessary like layout XML file for me. For the purposes of this tutorial, I will gonna using linear layout. What are the layouts and how they are used? If you are curious about these questions and want to learn more about uh, the various layout just mm, presented by the Android then on that topic i will meet a video later so that you can know more about them for the purposes of this tutorial i'm gonna using the simple very simple linear layout and um, um, for for now just keep in mind that uh, linear layout is something that arranges the views in a line order maybe it is horizontal or vertical depend on the orientation you set for this tutorial I will set the orientation as vertical which means that my views will be aligned on the top to bottom level okay for this tutorial I will need um, one text view and one calendar view So for the calendar view, I need width, which I will set it as uh, rep content. And for the height part, I will take it as rep content. I will make its. I will define its ID. Expendable calendar view and of course for the text part of the text view I will name it as click me and I will set its ID as expandable no no let's say I will make it date string yeah date date text of course yes and yeah one more thing since i'm clicking on the text view so i will set the android clickable attribute as true which means that i will make it able 
to listen to the on click events performed by the user enough with the XML now on the main activity I will define two variables one text view again date text day date TV and I will import the class by pressing alter enter and for the calendar view expendable calendar view again I will import the class okay now I will set these variable in accordance with the lay um, in according with the variables I have set in my layout file by using find view by id r dot id dot and of course d text for calendar view I will cast the view as calendar view find view by id r dot id dot of course expandable calendar view okay so now I have connected my uh, variables with the XML members that I have defined earlier now I will make my expandable calendar view visibility and I mean I will I will set my calendars views visibility as gone now why gone because initially I I want to make it invisible from the users for this purpose I have two options either I'm gonna using invisible or I'm gonna be using gone for this tutorial I'm using gone because invisible um, somehow make the view invisible from the users but it gathers the space around our activity and what gone is gonna do is that it will not occupy any of the space and make the view invisible so yeah gone is the good option okay now I will set on date change listener new on date change listener what this model gonna be do uh, let's uh, rename this argument so that you will have a good understanding of the method <coughs> what this method will do is that it will um, set the text of my text view in accordance with the of the date I have selected so yeah it will listen to the touch events of on the calendar view and uh, will cast those year the, those touch date into year month and date and then represent it on the text view respectively so yeah let's take our text view set its text on the values that I have described I'm using slash as a separator so that uh, it, it gives kind kind of uh, the date look month and then date this is not a string literal it is or integer variable yeah perfect one more thing whenever the user click on the date I want to make my calendar collapsed again for this purpose I will again set the visibility of my calendar view as visibility gone view dot gone now I will set the on click listener on my text view like this and in here 
I'm gonna write the logic on on and uh, in here I will check that whether my expandable calendar view has the visibility gone or not if it has the visibility gone then I will make it visible so yes let's check it for this I'm gonna calling some method on it like set visibility I will check the visibility of the expendable calendar view by using is shown method I will ask that whether the visibility is gone if it is I will see that make it visible let's rearrange the code Done. okay enough with the coding I guess yeah now comes the testing part let's test our application I will use my original phone Android phone um, to check whether it is working as my expectations or not you yeah, one more thing I will uh, set the background color of the linear layout so that uh, it can give you a look unique look for the most part yeah so let's run okay mm, I will get back to you once it got built okay guys I'm back this is my application and you can see the dark gray background color uh, behind it and yeah that's our text view that's saying click me when I tap on it and who the calendar is open let's select some random date um, maybe July 27 and that when I tap on it the calendar view is gone and the date is displayed on the text view okay one thing worth mentioning here uh, you have noticed one thing that when I tap on the date let's say of the May the month is minus one this is because um, the calendar view takes on the dates as zero index which means that uh, January is counted as zero month and December is counted as 11 so you can change it by adding one in the month which is a simple programming so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you have enjoyed it. Please like, share and subscribe my video. Thanks. I will catch you later.